So many lives changed because of this virus. For one woman, it was learning to live without her husband, one of the first in our area to die from COVID-19. KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim talked with her today. Well, this is my new mantra, keep moving forward. And sometimes it's hard, but... Joanna Wilson is figuring out life after Dennis. Three months short of our 50th wedding anniversary, this all happened. Dennis was the first man in Johnson County to lose his battle with COVID-19. She wonders how this could have happened to a man who did everything right. Oh, it's devastating. It's horrible. And that didn't make me angry. It made me intensely sad that he couldn't have the funeral he deserved. Even as a registered nurse for 53 years, Joanna felt frustrated. There was nothing she could do to help. It was, you know, all too new. I mean, I knew that. The path to healing has felt like a long and lonely road. Then we went to Alaska. And Joanna says she has lost several friends after Dennis, too. In the isolation still of being here by myself, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm not, I like to have people around. For Joanna, two years of the pandemic marks two years without her partner. She says it's too soon to forget why we take preventative measures. If he could come back for an hour, that's what he would say. Don't let this happen to you. COVID happened to Mike Stevens. In fact, he's a COVID-19 long hauler, still recovering from complications. People don't understand what we go through as a survivor. I mean, it's been six months since I've caught it, and I'm still not back to work because of it. Not only that, he says he lost his 25-year-old stepdaughter to the virus. It's something I did. I don't wish on my worst enemy. Gian Kim, KISS HB 41 News. Doctors have not wavered on their statement that the vaccine is the best way to protect yourself from serious and long-term illness from COVID-19. If you're ready to get vaccinated, check out this list of vaccine sites and resources available across the web, across the metro. It's on our website at KSHB.com.